I describe it. I mean, it's something crazy. I think the German fans have waiting a long time for Formula One Grand Prix victory and I really give this victory to the German fans.
Michael was very exciting to watch through the sheer speed that he achieved. It was a style that depended on 100% concentration, 100% commitment. Going into a corner at 150 miles an hour, knowing that your talent is going to enable you to get out the other side safely, it's a special gift. Michael got that natural talent, that natural speed, it's higher than anyone else. And what was so special about Michael is he didn't waste it. He did everything he could to enable himself to exploit that natural talent that he had. Michael was a little bit fearless, and people knew that. Not quite sure if they could challenge him and take him on. Michael didn't think about it because he knew his limit, and the other guys were thinking, this is a bit risky, and would back off. You didn't see Michael back off. Michael Schumacher gets his seventh Formula One World Championship on a truly, truly eventful day for Formula One racing. Is history. There was a beauty in the brilliance of the execution, his execution, the team's execution. To win on a sustained level year after year is incredibly difficult, and the proof of that is how rarely it's happened. And what Schumacher and the team achieved in that period, from 2000 through to uh, 2004, not giving an inch to the opposition, not giving them a sniff of a hope, was absolutely incredible. He did become untouchable. People look back at periods of dominance and think of them as golden ages, which they were. The five championship years in a row, people always remember.